advantage of global warming. And we're seeing that True. in the US and Europe. We're seeing it everywhere. And that's the backlash that we really Qu shouldn't have had. Quickly, Nancy, David, quickly. David, that's a total lie. The economist, this issue, <laughs> had the chairman of Shell, did a review of that whole scandal, and concluded that no such thing happened, that they were a little disorganized, but all of their science was sound. So everything you just said was a lie, Bjorn. Wait, I hate to say uh, that. Ask so read the economist. Can, can, can I just, I, I actually yeah, said it was not very big. It, I mean, clearly there was errors, and you would admit that too, that saying that the Himalaya glaciers would disappear in 2035 when everyone knew that that was just not even on the table. That was clearly wrong. But you're you absolutely said Al right. Gore it's, lied. it's very, very small. Well, I mean, Al Gore shows us 20 feet of sea level rise he did not when the say UN that. climate panel is telling us <laughs> half to two feet. It's definitely scaring. The, uh, people, I would say that that's fairly obvious. I would imagine most people Go would Bjorn. see it that way. All right. The point, though, is that it has cost everybody to end up saying, I don't believe this at all. And that, I'm sure you also feel, is a really bad outcome. Bjorn, we have scared say, people silly. Just say to Nancy, I agree. go LA Kings and... and <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm not going to go there. Go the Red Wings. Go Kings. Go to the Red, Red Wings. Thank all you right. so much. The, book, the, the, book, the book cool is it. Cool It. Cool It. Got to mention the book. Good to see you, Bjorn. Thanks for coming in. There it is. Well, Americans think they know who to credit for the huge turnaround in the stock market. But the answer in our latest poll may surprise you. Stay tuned. That's coming up next.